European achievements are like baseball, and African achievements are like t-ball. What? Well, at least I didn't say European achievements are like butterflies, and African achievements are like roaches. I remember this day all too well. I remember no one caring but me. I remember my virtual immobility as I realized how negatively my friend viewed the continent from which my great, 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 great grandmother, Mary Dunn, was stolen in her youth. I remember none of my fellow African Americans being nearly as hurt as I was. But mostly, I remember the shame I felt when all I could say was, that isn't true. Now, was this an active display of racism? I don't think so. In fact, my friend and I were actually very close. But my friend was ignorant. And perhaps more horrifyingly, so was I. How could we ever achieve racial equality with such common fallacies distorting our understanding of history? I remember not speaking very much that day. I remember my friends getting frustrated with my silence. I remember floods of comments like, she said sorry, and why are you even mad, and get over it. I remember returning home desperately, holding back tears of frustration. Why couldn't I prove her wrong? Why couldn't I defend my race, my very identity? I remember my mom's anger and my dad's mirthless smile. Don't waste your energy being mad. It's OK that you don't know everything. How are you supposed to learn about African history when it's barely in the curriculum? It's not the last time this will happen, but here's what you can do. Read. Learn about Africa. And if it happens again, be ready, he told me. And so I read. I watched documentaries. I pursued the topic for every school project. I talked to my parents and my grandparents. I sought to learn all that I could about the African continent, its culture, and even greater, my identity. I joined the student group on race relations and became one of 22 leaders. I created activities to highlight the microaggressions that elicit downcast looks and unsettling realizations of inequality despite a lack of intended prejudice. I became a Max sister scholar so that I could serve as a mentor to other young minority girls that would face the same discri discrimination, no matter how subtle, that I did. I created the Catalyst Student Group so that I could emphasize the need for education in all areas to students whose parents may not realize its value themselves. Finally, I forgave my friend. I realized that one shouldn't combat ignorance with anger, but with information. Now, if this were ever to happen again, I think the difficult part would be choosing which facts to recite, as it is only through education that humanity can grow closer to the truth. Our future depends on our collective recollection of the past. Therefore, it is our duty to maintain its sanctity. My future depends on continually educating myself and teaching anyone willing to listen. Thank you.